this will be the only plugging part of this whole thing. Totally fine. But, but I just did a, but I just did a, uh, a collaboration with a, um, a pretty celebrated classical composer. Oh. Yes, and his name is uh, James Romig, and he was a finalist for the uh, for the Pulitzer. Oh my gosh! In, yeah, in 2019, and he wrote me kind of out of nowhere, and he got hooked into like this world that we talk about via the New York Times and like Sun was like a kind of an entry point, and then he got hooked into I think Sun and Yob were being reviewed in a similar oh. thing oh gotcha and so then he got hooked into yob in, into our long form playing and for him he's like oh that's that's classical music yeah yeah, yeah. And, and i don't think of it that way but for him it's like oh, okay there's movements yep there's a composition there's you know and so there's motifs he, that you repeat i mean yeah it's classical composition and and him and his wife, who is also a classical uh, pianist, and for the piece that they did together, which is called Still, um, so quote, still, unquote, um, that was a finalist for the Pulitzer, mm. they were happened to be vacationing in Vancouver when Yob came through, or sorry, Toronto, and Yob came to play there. And he wrote me out of the blue and said, hey, I would love to hang out and talk. And I was just like, yeah, of course, let's hang out and talk. And then he hit me up saying, you know, I love this style of music. I love minimal, minimalist composition. And and what would it be like if I wrote, and he's like, I love Sun, but I love Stephen Reich. And I love, what, what could we do together? And so he wrote a piece because because I said, oh man, that sounds really intimidating. And, <laughs> Seriously, and, and way out of my wheelhouse. But then I'm like, okay, well, yes. And so he's like, okay, cool, let's keep talking. And then he wrote a piece for me. Like he wrote me at one point and said, okay, for the song "Lie That Is Sin," what chords are you playing? And because I my my music theory is like Swiss cheese, <laughs> like, like it's good on a sandwich, but there's a lot of holes in it. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, "This is what I know. This is what I'm doing." And I sent him a video of the chords. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he constructed a piece for me, but for him, and basically, it's in in. Uh, rhythm ratios of counts of 13, 14, and 15. And it doesn't reach unison for 2,730 beats. Oh, shit. Jesus. Which, is, which is 58 minutes. So it, it basically, the, the way to like wrap your brain around that is like if I write a riff and then I repeat it, that's unison. So he wrote a riff that's 58 minutes long, ultimately. <laughs> and, and so then he sent it to me. Like, this is what I have in mind. And it's, in, and it's informed in part by, like, Sun. But, like, this is the thing that I want you to do. And I'm, like, looking at it going, I don't even know how to approach this. And so I wrote a friend of mine in town whose name is uh, Jake Pavlak. And he, he's a graduate from the University of Oregon Music School. Mm -hmm. And I said, here's this piece of music. I don't know how to read it, and I don't know how to count it. And I started doing lessons oh, wow. with Jake to learn how to count it. And then we went through the entire piece of music to anything that wasn't a bar chord. Because J James, the composer, knows he, like he notates bar chords throughout it but there's probably at least 20 chord voicings that aren't bar chords yeah and and so jake and i figured out what those voicings are and then i took lessons with jake for about nine months 
to learn how to count and read the piece. And then we went to Billy Barnett, who's recorded the Yob records. Mm -hmm. And so it was Billy Barnett, uh, James Romig from a distance, and Jake Pavlak and myself. I brought all the Yob gear. Anything that I used for Yob, I brought the same exact stuff. So Monson guitar, uh, um, Black Art Stoneworks, uh, distortion pedal. Um, and I used a, a deep six compressor, but then I also used like a, um, a fuzz Lord EQ pedal. And that was what we did the piece for. And it's 58 minutes. Oh, shit. That doesn't repeat anything from the beginning to the end. Oh my God. But, but there are themes. And so you just have to count all the things and it's accounted 48 beats per minute for 58 minutes. And, and I finished the, rec I, I worked on this for the better part of a year. And then, um, and then recorded it probably three or four months ago, roughly. And then um, it's just being picked up for a label from a really amazing label. I, I can't say it yet. We're going to announce it soon, but it'll be out in June. And it, it's a harrowing listen, oh. like in, in the sense that like it's almost borderline, it, like it's a person can listen to it and be like, it, it sounds like it's improvised. Yeah. But and, it's not. <laughs> and it, it's like Dope Smoker in the sense that there's so many themes that are repeated and you just have to want to go on that ride yeah, to get to the end of it. And you just have to have that mindset and the heart to get to the end of it. But it's so complex. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't wait.